are. I'm Terry Hopper and that is Ken Haywood Hi. and we are here hey, and we are here at the Hopper Farm uh, in uh, Effingham County and we are taking a look at everything that's going on here. We it's uh, it's 80 acres and uh, a lot of it is uh, kind of going unused right now where it's uh, just uh, this grown up grass and everything but uh, you can actually see behind me over there it is uh, Farmville in real life, in 3D, we have some corn growing. We actually have a farmer that uh, shares uh, the land here, and he has everything in corn right now. So right behind us is, uh, that used to be a cattle barn. The cows are, uh, well, we sold them all off, and uh, they are out uh, making other families happy. So uh, this is it. This is the Hopper Farm right here, Effingham County. Day number one with a big transformation.
Terry's property, and he's cut a trail in here a while back, but uh, I've come in with the Kubota and widened it out just a little bit today. If you look over here to the left, uh, we're loaded up with this, uh, it's either black locust or uh, blackberry bushes, blackberry but whatever, bushes, it's, yeah. whatever this stuff is over here, it is just monstrously thick, but we're going to go back down here a little ways and show you where uh, we cut in for the seed beds today. Okay, right here, uh, this was all grown up with uh, blackberries. blackberries and thorns and all kinds of brush. Yeah, we cut this back about oh, 15 feet or so and just cleaned it out. This is where we're going to be putting our sand beds for the uh, for seedlings. So uh, this this will be a good start for us. And what you're looking at right now is uh, a whole forest of evergreen trees, and these actually date back to uh, several decades, several scores ago, where uh, my grandpa and grandma actually had a Christmas tree farm. And uh, this is some of the overgrowth that uh, we have from it. And uh, current plans are uh, we're just going to let it keep on growing. It's beautiful down here. Okay, as you can see, this is kind of opened up here. This is shooting uh, off one of the trails. Uh, straight ahead of us here, I, we worked on this quite a bit today. Uh, we knocked down probably, uh, I don't know, maybe a quarter acre of uh, brush that was growing up about like this stuff over here. I don't know, probably four or five feet high in places. Got some dense undergrowth, uh, full of thorns. It was just not a good thing. So we opened this all up down here in front of the corn. We'll, we'll probably be putting some uh, clover in down here or uh, maybe some brassica. Um, it drops off right here probably, oh, I don't know, maybe six feet down to the creek bed. And at one time this was opened up. And if you look up over here, you probably won't be able to see the depth to it, but probably a hundred yards back there, mm -hmm. it starts to go back up and then Way up there at the top is the, is the property line where that tree is. So eventually we're going to try to open this up. Uh, this is our second one we're going to work on. Uh, the main one we'll show you here in just a minute. But like I said, at one time this was open. And over in, in that little pasture area, we're probably going to put some uh, trees up long term maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not really sure yet, but our main goal is to get on the other side of the creek, which it's still going to be a little bit of a challenge. Here we have the reality of the situation. This is actually an old Oliver 1885 dating back to uh, before I was born. And uh, what we have is this is a blade attached to the tractor. Well, at least uh, two of the three points in the three-point hitch is hooked up. And uh, again, the, the reality of the situation, th this is hard work and everything. What happened was we're blading this out to where we can actually dig out this crossing here to get across the creek and uh, it just got stuck here on the blade and uh, it popped off on one of the uh, points so uh, the sun is setting right now today and uh, this tractor is going to stay here overnight and we're going to leave it alone come back and uh, fix it in uh, sometime tomorrow so I'm Terry Hopper and back there somewhere uh, he's hiding, is Ken Haywood, so uh, we'll see you soon. Anatime Entertainment.